presidential debates between John McCain and Barack Obama drew worldwide attention. Some media outlets were quick to declare a winner, while others dug for a deeper story. Next on Global Pulse. The presidential debates through the eyes of international media. Senator Obama has spent more money on negative ads than any political campaign in history. 100%, John, of your ads, 100% of them have been negative. The debates between Barack Obama and John McCain could almost be characterized as a political schoolyard brawl. Coverage by Iran's Press TV, China's CCTV, Russia Today, and the BBC made clear who they thought was the winner and the bully. It was an ill-tempered presidential debate. Republican candidate for the U.S. presidency, John McCain, referred to his Democrat rival, Barack Obama, rather dismissively as that one. You McCain came out fighting and repeated day. some of the most negative campaign allegations about the Illinois uh, senator. In the United States, snap polls after the final televised debate between the presidential candidates give Democrat Barack Obama a clear victory. Senator McCain went into the debate saying he's prepared to whip Obama's, quote, you know what. According to earlier polls, his own you know what has been whipped. The favoritism shown Obama wasn't surprising, according to results of polls in 24 nations conducted by the Pew Research Project. 84% of people surveyed in France said they had confidence in Obama. In Japan, it was 77%. In Spain, 72% in Brazil, 58%, and in South Korea, 56%. While most media focused on the action inside the debate hall, Russia Today discovered another story unfolding outside. A peaceful anti-war protest one minute, and a screaming, heaving mass of riot police and protesters the next. Over a dozen protesters were arrested, many war veterans. You saw tonight how veterans of this country are treated, and that's a shame. Both of them claim that they support veterans, and this is how we got supported tonight, you know, by being pushed back, trampled, and arrested. The debate's non-stop verbal sparring didn't sit well with some media, including France's TV5. We found the debaters to be more combative than in the first debate. Can you confirm this impression? Yes, absolutely. We sensed a lot more aggression compared to the first debate, and it was even a bit annoying at times. John McCain had warned that he was going to reorient his campaign in a more aggressive manner, and this was certainly the case. What was a bit annoying was that each candidate just looked to criticize the position of the other, to the point of caricature. Verbal jabs aside, the BBC zeroed in on what it saw as one of McCain's weaknesses. Tens of millions of Americans have watched these debates and have had an opportunity to form an opinion not just about the policies of the candidates, but about their characters. And McCain's weakness, according to the polls, is his angry look. And I'm not going to stand for somebody saying that because someone yelled something at a rally. There's a lot of things that have been yelled at your rally, Senator Obama, that I'm not happy about either. While most of the media gave Obama the edge, Venezuela's Telesur and Al Jazeera weren't so sure. Even though overnight polls say Obama won Tuesday's debate by a comfortable margin, undecided voters in some swing states say they weren't so sure. They're not telling me that I'm going to be okay. Pero para algunos, For some people, the debate was a great disappointment because neither of the candidates showed they had a real plan to jumpstart the economy of the nation. Spain's TVE didn't forget Americans living abroad. It went in search of the McCain crowd with a bit of humor. Away, away he rode the rebel Johnny with eyes fixed on tonight's debate, we went in search of supporters of the candidates in Spain. Among the tasty nachos, we ran into members of Spain for McCain. Obama is, Obama is dangerous because he's a radical. John McCain is an authentic American hero. He represents the best ideals of the United States. Although they make a lot of noise, Republicans are definitely the minority in Spain. For Global Pulse, this is Aaron Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV. 
for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.